We are looking past several stars sitting on our nose in our own Milky Way galaxy. These are the spiked objects that are here. Ignore them. Okay. They're just in the way. Okay. Right. We designed and built this telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope. Now, what's different about it? Because we'd expect galaxies that are just born. Light from other worlds, orbiting stars far beyond our own. The highly advanced James Webb Space Telescope has just made a jaw-dropping discovery that's shaking up the world of physics. Since it launched into space, this incredible telescope has been staring deep into space, taking mind-blowing pictures and challenging everything we thought we knew about the universe. From faraway galaxies to the most confusing black holes, you'd be shocked to see the very essence of reality being redefined. Join us as we take a mind-bending journey to explore how James Webb's findings end the debate in physics. The Crisis in Cosmology Scientists are trying to figure out how old the universe is and how fast it's growing. They've used different methods to guess these things, but the answers don't match up. This has confused scientists and led to lots of debates and research to find out why. Cosmology is the study of how the universe started, how it's built, how it changes, and what will happen to it in the end. In the last hundred years, scientists have learned a lot about this. They have a theory called the Big Bang Theory, which says the universe started as a really hot, dense point and has been getting bigger for about 13.8 billion years. The rate at which the universe is expanding is called the Hubble constant. Scientists use different methods to measure this. One way is by looking at things nearby, like certain stars and exploding stars, called supernovae. These objects are like candles with a known brightness. So scientists can figure out how far away they are by how bright they look. By measuring how fast these objects are moving away from us, scientists can estimate the Hubble constant. However, there's a problem. The measurements from nearby objects don't match the measurements from faraway objects when it comes to the Hubble constant. This means that either our understanding of the universe is wrong or we're missing something important. Scientists are working hard to solve this puzzle and learn more about the secrets of the universe. On the other side, scientists also look at how the universe was when it was much younger, only 380,000 years old. They do this by studying the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is like a glow left over from the Big Bang. This radiation gives us a picture of what the early universe was like. By studying tiny changes in the temperature and pattern of this radiation, scientists can figure out not just how old the universe is, but also how fast it's growing. However, there's a problem. When scientists compare the age and growth rate they get from this radiation to what they measure from nearby objects, like stars and supernovae, they get different answers. The measurements from the early universe suggest that the universe is expanding slower than what we see from nearby objects. This difference is confusing and suggests that there might be something new and important about how the universe works that we don't know yet. It's like finding a piece of a puzzle that doesn't fit where you thought it would. This could mean that our understanding of the universe is not complete, or it could mean that there are mistakes in the way we measure things. Scientists are working hard to figure out which is true. Understanding this could lead to discoveries and change the way we see the universe. The arrival of James Webb Space Telescope. The JWST has given scientists a powerful tool to explore the universe like never before. I have been waiting my entire astronomy career for JWST. It is absolutely revolutionary compared to what was available. This telescope can see farther back in time and spot fainter objects than any telescope before it. Scientists were excited because they thought the data from the JWST would help them better understand how fast the universe is growing, called the Hubble constant. But things got more complicated when they started looking at the data. Instead of making things clearer, the early observations made the problem even trickier. The new information didn't fit neatly into the ideas scientists already had about how the universe works. This is a big deal because it could mean that our current understanding of the universe isn't complete. It might mean there are things out there that we don't know about yet, like new types of particles or forces that affect how the universe expands. 
It could also mean that we need to rethink what we know about dark energy, which is a mysterious force that scientists think is making the universe expand faster and faster over time. This isn't the first time that discoveries have shaken up what scientists thought they knew about the universe. For instance, when scientists found the cosmic microwave background or CMB radiation in 1965, it provided strong evidence for the Big Bang theory and disproved the steady state theory. And in the late 1990s, when scientists discovered that the universe was expanding faster than they thought, they had to come up with the idea of dark energy to explain it. These discoveries show that our understanding of the universe is always changing as we learn more. Every time scientists discover new information about the universe, they have to take a close look at their ideas to see if they still make sense. Sometimes they have to come up with new ideas or change the ones they already have to fit the new information. This is what's happening now with the Hubble tension and the SA tension, which are causing a lot of debate among scientists. This might sound like a problem, but it's a great opportunity for us to learn more about the universe. It pushes scientists to come up with better tools to study the cosmos. It also encourages scientists from different countries and fields to work together because understanding the universe is something that interests everyone. Most importantly, it shows us that science is always changing and growing. We never have all the answers, and that's okay. As we learn more and look deeper into space, our understanding of the universe gets richer and more complex. The expansion of the universe. One of the big challenges in cosmology right now is figuring out how matter is spread out in the universe. Some parts of the universe are packed with galaxies, while other parts are almost empty. Scientists use different methods to study this lumpiness in the universe. One way they do this is by looking at how light from distant objects is bent by the gravity of massive objects, like galaxy clusters. This bending of light, called gravitational lensing, helps scientists map out where dark matter is located. Dark matter is invisible and doesn't give off any light, but it has a powerful gravitational pull that affects how galaxies and other objects move in the universe. Another method is called weak gravitational lensing, which involves looking at how the shapes of distant galaxies appear distorted. These distortions happen because of the gravitational pull from big cosmic structures. These structures have weaker gravitational fields, so they cause subtle distortions in the images of galaxies. On the other hand, scientists also study the cosmic microwave background, which is like a glow left over from the Big Bang. This light has been traveling through space for about 13.8 billion years, carrying information from the early universe. By studying the CMB, scientists can figure out how lumpy the universe was in its early days. This lumpiness should match up with the large-scale structures we see in the universe today. However, there's a problem. When scientists compare the lumpiness they see in the CMB with the lumpiness they see from nearby objects using gravitational lensing, they don't match up. The CMB suggests that the distribution of matter in the early universe was smoother than what we see now. This difference suggests that there might be something we don't understand about how the universe has changed over time, from being smooth in the beginning to clumpy now. Solving this puzzle could lead to big changes in our understanding of the universe. It might mean that there are new things in physics that we haven't discovered yet. This could lead to updates in the standard model of cosmology, which is the framework scientists use to describe how the universe has changed and what it's made of. The way scientists think about the universe has changed a lot over time. One big idea that has evolved is the Big Bang Theory. This theory says that the universe started as a very hot and dense point and has been expanding ever since. At first, not everyone agreed with this idea. However, evidence like the cosmic microwave background radiation and the fact that the universe is expanding has made the Big Bang Theory the leading explanation for how the universe began. Another area where our understanding has grown is dark energy. In the late 1990s, scientists discovered something surprising. They found that instead of slowing down, the expansion of the universe is speeding up. This discovery led to the idea of dark energy which is a mysterious force that is pushing the universe to expand faster. We still don't know much about dark energy, and it's one of the biggest mysteries in cosmology. The James Webb Space Telescope is set to expand our knowledge of the universe even more. This telescope has incredible resolution and sensitivity, 
which means it can see things in space more clearly than ever before. The JWST will look back in time to when the first galaxies and stars were forming. It will also help us understand more about how the universe is expanding and how matter is spread out in space. Solving the SA tension, which is the disagreement between different ways of measuring how matter is spread out in the universe, will require careful observation and maybe even new ideas. It could involve understanding dark energy better, figuring out how dark matter behaves, or discovering entirely new things about how the universe works. Whatever the answer is, it will have a big impact on our understanding of the universe. Cosmology's challenges, like the Hubble tension and the SA tension, are not roadblocks. Instead, they are opportunities for scientists to improve their tools, make more accurate observations, and come up with new theories. Each challenge brings us closer to answering the big questions about how the universe began, how it's changing, and what its future holds. It's like trying to solve a giant puzzle without knowing what the final picture looks like, but with each piece we find, the picture becomes clearer. The Flamingo Project. Scientists are like detectives trying to solve the mysteries of the universe. Recently, they've taken on a huge project called Flamingo. This project is named after the extensive scientific research it represents. Flamingo is not your usual science experiment. It's a massive undertaking that uses one of the most powerful supercomputers in the world at Durham University in the UK. Flamingo is a giant simulation that tries to recreate the entire universe on a computer. It's so big that it requires over 50 million hours of computer time and spreads across 30,000 processors. To put it in perspective, it's like running a marathon on every continent, one after the other. In the past, simulations of the universe focused mainly on dark matter, which is a mysterious substance that we can't see or feel, but can detect through its gravitational pull. However, Flamingo goes beyond that. It includes everything from how galaxies behave to the gas inside them, the stars, and even the supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies. This is a huge leap in our understanding of the universe. It's like going from having an incomplete map of the world with just the land masses to having a map that shows every mountain, river, and landmark in exquisite detail. Flamingo is helping scientists see the universe in a whole new light, uncovering secrets that were once hidden from view. But why go through all this effort? The goal was simple, to understand the SA tension better. This tension is like a puzzle in the measurements of the universe's structure. It suggests that there's something basic about the universe that scientists don't quite understand yet. If these measurements were songs, it would be like one being jazz and the other classical, both music, but very different. Flamingo was supposed to help figure out these differences. It was meant to tell us if we were looking at the universe in the wrong way. However, even with all its complexity and detail, Flamingo couldn't resolve the SA tension. It was like using the best metal detectors to find buried treasure, only to have the treasure remain elusive. The fact that this tension remains is a reminder that there's still so much we don't know about the universe. It seems like the universe isn't ready to give up its secrets easily. Every new piece of information we gather, every simulation like Flamingo, brings us closer to understanding, but also presents us with new puzzles to solve. It's a bit like a game of back and forth. Each answer we find leads to more questions, but that's the exciting part of science. There's always something new to discover and understand. The universe is like a giant mystery waiting to be unraveled, and each discovery brings us a step closer to solving it. I spent all my life developing a particular uh, theory of the universe, and now that theory is being questioned. I welcome that, because that's how we move forward. That's how we make progress in science. Scientists, persistent efforts for the future. Since the early 20th century, when Edwin Hubble discovered that the universe was getting bigger, our knowledge has grown a lot. Scientists have learned about the Big Bang, dark matter, and dark energy. They've looked back in time using the cosmic microwave background and made detailed maps of galaxies' positions and movements. Each of these discoveries has been like finding an important piece of a giant puzzle. But the universe is full of secrets, and it doesn't give them up easily. Every time we learn something new, we have to change our ideas, make our models more accurate, and come up with better questions. The Big Bang Theory, which was once a crazy idea, is now a fundamental part of what we teach about the universe. 
Dark matter, which used to be just a guess, is now a crucial part of our understanding. Dark energy, a strange force that pushes the universe to expand faster, was a total surprise when we discovered it in the late 20th century. Now, it's key to how we think about the universe. Even with all these discoveries, there are still things we don't understand. The SA tension, which is a disagreement in how we measure the universe's structure, is one of those things. The James Webb Space Telescope, which is like a new and improved version of the Hubble Space Telescope, will give us even more information about the early universe. Webb looks so far out that it's capturing light that's been traveling for over 13 billion years. Um, but the universe has been expanding, and so the light has been stretching. And so for the most distant galaxies, we're looking back, back in time almost to the Big Bang. This information will test our ideas and make us rethink what we thought we knew. In the vastness of space, there's a complex dance of particles and forces that has been happening for billions of years. It's not just about stars and planets, it's also about solving mysteries that have puzzled astronomers for centuries. Unraveling the mystery of the universe's expansion. In the past, people believed that everything in the sky moved around the Earth. This idea changed when scientists like Copernicus and Galileo showed that Earth and other planets orbit the Sun. This was a big change in thinking. Then, in the 20th century, Einstein came along with his theory of general relativity. He said that space and time are part of a four-dimensional structure called space-time. This idea was mind-blowing and changed how we think about the universe. Einstein's ideas helped us understand that the universe isn't static, it's always changing. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble looked at other galaxies and saw that they were moving away from us. This discovery showed that the universe is expanding. This led to the idea of the Big Bang, which says that the universe started as a speck and then suddenly expanded. Scientists thought that gravity would slow down this expansion. However, in the 1990s, astronomers found something surprising. Not only is the universe expanding, but it's also getting faster. It's like throwing a ball in the air and instead of slowing down, it speeds up. To explain this, scientists came up with the idea of dark energy. Dark energy is a mysterious force that's pushing the universe apart. It's like an invisible hand that's making the universe expand faster and faster. Overall, our understanding of the universe has changed a lot over time. We've gone from thinking everything revolves around Earth to understanding that we're just a small part of a vast and ever-changing universe. Imagine the universe as a giant foam with galaxies and clusters of galaxies strung along filaments, surrounding vast voids of seeming space. This is the cosmic web, the large-scale structure of the universe. Scientists are trying to understand how clumpy this cosmic web is and how matter is spread out across it. To measure this clumpiness, scientists use different methods. One way is by studying the cosmic microwave background, which is like a picture of the universe when it was just a baby. So the web is able to look at the formation of the first stars and the first galaxies. It's much more sensitive to the light from the most distant objects in the universe, which are the oldest objects. You're looking back in time. The CMB gives us a map of the early universe and helps us see how matter started coming together. Another method is to look at the universe as it is today, observing how galaxies are spread out and how light bends around them. This bending of light is called gravitational lensing. By studying these two things, scientists get different views of how lumpy the universe is. The Flamingo Project was a big deal in this area of study. It wasn't just a normal computer simulation. It was like creating a virtual reality model of the entire universe. It used data from the CMB and observations of galaxies to create a detailed picture of the universe, all in digital form. The goal was to see if, based on what we know about physics, the early universe could have evolved into the universe we see today. This research is like trying to solve a big puzzle. By studying how matter is distributed across the cosmic web, scientists hope to learn more about how the universe formed and how it has changed over billions of years. It's a complex and fascinating field of study that helps us understand the universe on a grand scale. The Flamingo Project was a big deal in trying to understand the universe. Unlike previous simulations, 
Flamingo included both dark matter and ordinary matter. This was important because it's like trying to understand how a car works by looking at the whole car, including the engine, seats, and wheels, instead of just the frame. Flamingo's results were impressive. It could create galaxies that looked like our own Milky Way. However, when it came to measuring how clumpy the universe is, both in the early universe, measured by the CMB, and in the present, measured locally, Flamingo couldn't quite get it right. The way the universe is expanding and how matter clumps together didn't match up. This leaves astronomers with a big question. Why? Some think we might need new physics, new laws, to explain what we're seeing. Others think that maybe our measurements or our understanding of dark energy, the mysterious force pushing the universe apart, might be wrong. This situation is like a classic mystery, with the universe as the central puzzle. Despite our powerful telescopes and smart simulations, we're left with a cosmic cliffhanger. But that's what makes science so exciting. Every question we answer leads to more questions and more discoveries. Every observation and every simulation is like another step in a journey to understand the universe's grand story. In this dance of discovery, it's clear that the music isn't stopping anytime soon. The essay tension isn't just a scientific puzzle. It's a reminder that there's still so much more for us to learn. As we continue to study the stars, there's an anticipation of what secrets the universe will reveal next. The universe has always been a vast frontier, full of mysteries. Our quest to understand it has been relentless, and it's this pursuit of knowledge that drives us forward. The challenging nature of the cosmos. The way scientists explain the universe has changed a lot over time, based on discoveries. Let's take a journey through these changes and see how our understanding has evolved, especially with recent challenges from new observations. Long ago, the ancient Greeks thought Earth was at the center of a small universe. This idea was simple, but not quite right. In the 16th century, Copernicus came up with a new idea. The Sun is at the center, not Earth. This heliocentric model made more sense and explained how the planets move. In the 17th century, Isaac Newton came along with his laws of motion and gravity. These ideas were solid for centuries and helped predict how planets move in our solar system. They became the foundation of classical physics. The 20th century started with Einstein and his theory of general relativity. This was a big deal because it changed how we think about gravity. Einstein showed that space and time are like a fabric that can bend and warp. This theory completely changed our view of the universe and laid the groundwork for modern cosmology. These discoveries show that our understanding of the universe is always evolving. Each new idea builds on the ones before it, leading to a deeper understanding of how the cosmos works. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble made a big discovery. He found out that galaxies were moving away from each other. This led to a huge idea. The universe is expanding. This was a major change from what people used to think, which was that the universe was still and not changing. This idea of an expanding universe gave birth to the Big Bang Theory. This theory says that the universe started as a very hot and dense point and has been expanding ever since. With tools like the Hubble Space Telescope, scientists could measure how fast the universe is expanding. But here's where things got tricky. The rate of expansion, called the Hubble constant, seemed different depending on how we measured it. When we looked at light from nearby galaxies, we got one value. But when we looked at the cosmic microwave background, CMB, which is the faint light left over from the Big Bang, we got a different value. This difference in measurements became known as the Hubble tension. Just when we thought that was enough to deal with, another problem popped up, the SA tension. This is about how much matter there is in the universe and how it's spread out. Our models predicted that the universe should be more clumpy than it appears. The James Webb Space Telescope has added more complexity to these tensions. It has given us sharper images and new data. The telescope shows us galaxies that seem to be more spread out than what our current theories expected. These tensions in our understanding of the universe show that there is still much we don't know. They push us to question our ideas and come up with new theories. Even with our best efforts, like the elaborate simulations of projects such as Flamingo, which aimed to understand the effects of both ordinary and dark matter, we still find a mismatch. 
Flamingo tried hard to make our models fit with what we observe, but the universe is more complex than we thought. So where does this leave us? Our understanding of the universe is being tested. We might be on the brink of a big change in how we see things. It could mean going back to the drawing board and rethinking some of the basic ideas we have about the universe. But these challenges are not roadblocks. They're like signs pointing us toward a deeper understanding. Each time we find something that doesn't fit our models, it's like finding a clue in a mystery. It could lead us to discoveries about how the universe works. This is the exciting thing about science. It's always checking and correcting itself. Each new thing we learn builds on what we knew before. Every strange observation or puzzle pushes us to make our theories better and to see the universe in a new light. The universe is like a dance, with everything moving according to the rules of physics. But sometimes, when we look closely at our powerful telescopes and instruments, we see that some things don't quite match up. This challenges us to rethink what we know and to come up with new ideas to explain the mysteries we uncover. The exploration of the universe is a never-ending adventure. With better telescopes, smarter simulations, and scientists who never give up, we're still on a quest for answers. The universe isn't just a vast space, it's like a giant puzzle waiting to be solved. Putting this puzzle together is one of the biggest and most exciting challenges humanity has ever taken on. The Lambda Cold Dark Matter Model for many years, scientists who study stars and planets have used a set of ideas and math to explain how the universe has changed from its very beginning, known as the Big Bang, up until now. These ideas and math help us understand how the universe's big parts, like galaxies, were formed and spread out. And they also help us understand the mysterious stuff called dark matter and dark energy. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has started to show us some of the earliest galaxies in the universe. It's also telling us about what these galaxies are made of and about the super big black holes that were around when the universe was young. What JWST is finding suggests that the ideas and math we've been using might not be enough to explain all the exciting things happening in space. One idea that scientists are looking at is called the Lambda Cold Dark Matter Model. This idea has been really important in helping us understand the universe. It talks about a thing called the cosmological constant, which is represented by lambda and dark matter. It says that the universe's movement is controlled by dark energy, dark matter, and regular matter. According to this idea, the universe started with a big explosion and then got bigger and bigger because of these things pushing and pulling on each other. The Lambda Cold Dark Matter model has been great at explaining many things we see in space, like the background radiation left over from the Big Bang and how galaxies are spread out in the universe. It says that dark energy, which is like a mysterious force, is making the universe expand faster and faster. Dark matter, which mostly just pulls things with gravity, is like the skeleton that holds galaxies together. Even though this model has been really helpful, it still doesn't tell us everything. Dark matter and dark energy are still some of the biggest mysteries in science. So, stay curious and stay interested. As we keep exploring, discovering, and learning about the wonders of the cosmos, we're sure to find more surprises. Each discovery brings us closer to understanding the universe and figuring out where we fit into the grand scheme of things. The journey ahead is sure to be full of excitement and wonder. Now, what do you think about this cosmic journey in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.